Construction crews are rushing to complete major projects at New Rochelle High School, including a new main entrance and parking lots. But some students and parents are worried the beginning of the new school year will be disrupted. I am concerned about the uh, first day of school and first week. Um, it's probably going to be a little chaotic. I don't think they're going to get it done, but hopefully it will be done soon after. The district is in the middle of a four-year, $106 million program to upgrade all its schools. It's a colossal effort. School leaders gave CBS2 a tour inside where major renovations are underway too, including new ceilings in classrooms and refinished floors in eight gymnasiums district-wide. As you can see, the kitchen here at New Rochelle High School is still a work in progress, but they say they will be ready to feed 3,000 students on the first day of school next week. Crews are working virtually around the clock to make it happen by Wednesday. And it will absolutely be ready for opening of school. There are new playgrounds at elementary schools, a new entry plaza at the Isaac Young Middle School, and the high school is getting its historic slate roof repaired. Officials stress safety is their top priority next week. We will be open. We will be safe. Um, we have all our systems in place. This construction report shows some projects have been postponed until next summer, including synthetic turf fields at the high school, an administrative parking lot, a new gas line replacement, and a new outdoor track. But this student's mom doesn't mind the delays. We have to look on the bright side and what the future is going to hold and the improvements that will be made will only be a good thing. Once all the work is finally done. In New Rochelle, Westchester County, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. The district says that some of the new playgrounds won't be complete until the end of September, and they're trying to keep parents informed.